What's up, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Cigar Lifestyles and Reviews with your host, Enoch the Cigar Emperor. And today, man, I'm coming with a nice, lovely, inexp inexpensive Cuban. And I actually love these. Uh, I don't talk about these a lot, man, but I keep these. This is a new brand, basically, to Habana's SA. This was introduced in 1999. This is the San Cristobal de la Habana. But this is the La Ferraza, uh, which means strength in Spanish. Uh, it's 50 ring gauge, five and a half inches long. Uh, San Cristobal, the name San Cristobal de la Havana actually used to be the capital of Cuba, if you didn't know that. Then it was changed to Havana, uh, which is now the capital of Cuba. But yes, this, this whole name was the whole province and capital of Cuba, San Cristobal de la Havana. So that's basically where the name come from. But this is basically a new brand that came in 1999, uh, introduced in 1999. Uh, they only have like four Vitolas, if I'm not mistaken. But this is what they call in the factory the Gordito. And basically, it's, it's just a Robusto. It's just a basically an extra long Robusto. That's all it is. It's an elongated Robusto. But it's called a Gordita. A Gordita. Gordito. Gordito. A Gordita. Um, but yeah. No particular smell from the wrapper y'all already know I ain't got to explain nothing about the wrapper or the binder or filler because you already know baby it's uh Fidel Castro Puro <laughs> it's Cuban Puro that's what we used to say back in the day man what you doing man smoking on a Fidel that's nice that cold draw is nice don't seem like I'm having no problem with the draw so I mean, let's get to it, man, you know? Hmm. Cold draw is nice and coffee-like. like that, man. Uh-oh. Someone told me to bring my other light out. I just left the lounge last night. And everybody want to ask me to use my lighter. But that's okay. Because it's going to work. Believe that. So I might have to cut just to get the light. That don't make sense, man. Gotta be Kahiba to let me down on it. Be back with the light. Okay, let's try this again. Let me go back to my dependable Lotus. Well, I'm gonna tell you off the rip, I'm not having no issue with the uh, with the draw at all. Not one bit. The taste I'm getting like a nice sweet wood flavor. And some coffee. It's nice. Nice pretty looking wrapper too, man. It's not bad. Nice wrapper, man. I need to check the region of Q to see which one they get these from. Ah, uh, it's probably the Pinar del, del Rio region. But this is an inexpensive Cuban, man. If you can get your hands on some of these St. Cristobal, please do. Hmm. Nice. Nice coffee, man. Like a dark, sweet coffee flavor. And a nice wood flavor, man. Yeah. I'm glad I got a bunch of these. Oh, I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm glad I got a bunch of these. See y'all in the second third. Man, listen. It's only gotten better. That's it. Um, I said I was gonna come up with the price point because I actually forgot what I got these for, but they was cheap as hell. Um... I'll come up with the price point before I end this video. But man, listen, I'm telling this is a good cigar. I'm getting more coffee. Kind of like, uh, don't turn it to a little leather too. Uh, the Retro Hell is still not super strong, but it's leathery and it's peppery, like a sweet pepper. Mm. 
I'm getting long finishes too, man. The burn is beautiful. I like it. It's good. It's a simple little band, man. San Cristobal, La Habana, De La Habana. Like I said, this used to be the capital of Cuba before Havana, before they changed the name. But man, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's a great cigar. I'm having no issues, no quality control issues with the draw. And I'll just see y'all in the second, third, man. This is a great cigar, man. Like, beautiful. Back in the last third of this San Cristobal. Matter of fact, let me go on to take off this wrapper. Oh, that just fell off of me taking off this wrapper. The burn has still been good, man. And the leather, the, the, the leather notes have definitely picked up. Good cigar, man, especially for the price point from Habana's essay. Like I've told y'all in previous videos, well, specifically of me doing Cuban reviews, I said I was going to be start, start bringing y'all more inexpensive Cubans, Habana's. Um, since Habana, as I say, it's went crazy with a lot of their price points. And this is one of them. Uh, like I said, the coffee is still there, but the leather has taken over now. Still good. I'm getting no bitter, nasty, ammonia taste. So obviously, obviously I have aged it well, or it's been aged well. Uh, so, man, like I said, man, this has been the San Cristobal de la Habana La Forza. Uh, which means strength or the strength in Spanish. So I'll see y'all on the next one, man. If you if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I'm Enoch with Cigar Emperor. And also hit the like button. It helps my algorithm. See y'all on the next one. I'm out.